outcomes, goals of the world. Yeah, we were taught to have goals. Most of us were taught not to just sit and om and meditate all day. We were taught to go for your goals, achieve, accomplish, you know, make something of yourself, carve out your niche in the world and, and get, make something useful of yourself. Go out and work and achieve and accumulate and save. It's okay, save, 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 save for a rainy day and then, oh, the rainy day comes and spend, 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 spend. Have fun spending. Just go shopping on a rainy day, you know. That'll get you out of the blues for maybe a few minutes. But, you know, basically saying while you seek for it in things that have no meaning, you bind yourself to laws that make no sense. In other words, the answer to scarcity is not stuff. Stuff is not the answer to scarcity. Stuff is not the answer to lack. And some of you know this because you've tried it like, you've got a lot of stuff and you still feel you're lacking. So you can say, yeah, I've tried it. The ego tricked me. It, it said I, if I would just get stuff, I would not have this hole of lack anymore and I would, be, I would feel complete. I would feel satisfied. But remember what Mick, Mick Jagger said, I can't get no satisfaction. And I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried, I can't get no. So this is wise. That was his greatest contribution to the plan of awakening, was <laughs> leaving us with a song that saying he couldn't find satisfaction. And he did try. How many times? Four times. <laughs> he tried four times and he couldn't get, get any satisfaction. So basically this is, Jesus is giving us the answer and, and he's saying that's been the problem. You're seeking for things that really have no meaning and then you're binding your mind to laws that have no meaning. And why is that a problem? It's because there's only one law and that's the law of love. And when you bind your mind to ego, make-believe, fictitious laws, then you are covering over the only law that there is, which is the law of love. Love is all there is, and it's the only law there is, and that's because God is very simple. God doesn't create many laws, He just creates one. And when we're not aware of it, we're not happy. And then we do a lot of strange things. Forgive them, for they know not what they do, Jesus said from the cross. We, we pursue crazy things. And then he says, Thus do you seek to prove salvation is where it is not. You seek to prove you can find salvation in the form, in the things, in the stuff, when actually the kingdom of heaven is within you. It's a state of mind that's the small, still voice guiding you into this still place of mind that will satisfy you, that is your natural state, that is where you are one with the law 